this is a medical video lecture pediatrics and today I'm going to talk about Viscott Aldrich syndrome okay VAS Viscott Aldrich syndrome remember the Viscott Aldrich syndrome is one of the example for a combined immunodeficiency means it affects both B and T cells both are affected so what's Viscott Aldrich syndrome guys this is a tr has a triad it's an immunodeficiency disorder it's a X linked immunodeficiency disorder there's a beautiful what you call um, mnemonic or the conditions seen in these patients usually in USMLE they will give you a year old infant presents to the what you call to you with the severe eczema okay and he gives a history of repeated infection in the form of uh, pneumonia or sinusitis okay on examination you find rash there's a particular rash so if you find like this repeated infection let me write here first is eczema repeated infection and petechial rash okay repeated infection because of the B and the T cell immunodeficiency whereas a petechial rash is due to thrombocytopenia thrombocytopenia okay right so what are the three things whenever you want to diagnose a Viscott Aldrich syndrome look for eczema look for repeated infections and look for a rash that's due to thrombocytopenia okay so now what happens what's the cause for this I don't want to go in detail regarding the cause for this this is really very big genetics and not important for a uh, USML examination since it's an X-linked recessive it's a, there is a protein known as Viscott Aldrich syn syndrome protein VASP okay right in this syndrome the short arm of the chromosome X is involved short arm of chromosome X is involved okay and the disease this Viscott Aldrich syndrome is most of the time it's associated with what you call the X linked neutropenia. X linked neutropenia. Okay, guys, right? Good, excellent. Now let's see what happens, how to diagnose this disease in USML examination. One look for eczema, as I said, atopic dermatitis. Okay, look for thrombocytopenia. Okay, and look for repeated infection. ETI. The thrombocytopenia with normal megakaryocytes but defective platelets. What happens when there is a short platelet? Short platelets. These are cleared or killed by whom? Removed by spleen. That's why you see splenomegaly and lymphadenopathies. Splenomegaly. Okay, guys. Right. Yes. Most of the patient develops, you know, during the first month of the life. Okay. The first month of the life, and it all depends on the what you call. Um, on the third month, from the first month, they can have only the rash, 
okay now the, from the third month of their life they will have repeated bacterial infections right okay so now the important thing i want to tell you about what you call risk of developing this if the patient has a viscot ulrich syndrome they are at risk of developing cancers malignancies that is a leukemia and the lymphoma and they are also risk at risk of developing ibd inflammatory bowel disease nephritis vasculitis okay and other autoimmune disease okay they are risk of this developing this disease the first year of his life usually the as i said they will have atopic dermatitis recurrent infection starts from the th third month okay and the bacterial infection especially recurrent infection by the bacteria that is encapsulated polysaccharide bacteria okay that causes pneumonia meningitis right yep they can have also viral infections also remember they can have also viral infections now let's see what are the other important lab findings you get in this remember the thing that is very important is they have impaired humoral response okay means highly variable immunoglobulins they will have low igm okay but raised iga ige igg will be either normal or low okay so this is really very important igm will be low iga and ige there's a immunoglobulin a and immunoglobulin e is raised in the patients with uh, vas that's a risk called aldrich syndrome and igg is normal or low okay what about the t cells the t cells moderately decreased uh, okay they are t cells are low moderately decreased okay and variable decreased what you call mitogen response okay right right now remember in usmle they can give you the history of what you call what you call the peculiar history of viscot allergy syndrome and they will ask you which of the following should be avoided in these patients so remember the two drugs that should be avoided in these patients one is aspirin and second one is ansets aspirin and ansets should be avoided in these patients right guys awesome awesome how do you treat this the treatment is the only thing is available is a stem cell transplant stem cell transplant okay guys right so this is about the brief discussion about the viscot alde syndrome the viscot alde syndrome means defect in both b and the t cell is a x link okay another one point i want to tell you is that this uh, vas syndrome that's a viscot alde syndrome um they can there has been found a defect in uh, cd43 cd43 okay right guys so thank you so much for watching this video take care